So I've had this idea for that it's been um, bouncing around for ages and it's using a using some drills and some threaded rod to uh, make a printer. So you'd put your piece of paper just in here and then these um, drills would go up and down these shafts um, using these nuts and then your um, printer head which is a solenoid valve would be placed in the center here and it would squirt out ink or maybe like spray paint onto the piece of uh, paper and probably wondering why I'm using drills instead of using like a, a stepper motor well, these I find are not as great as they everyone sort of goes on about um, they're pretty cool pretty complex but you st they're still not as precise as everyone goes on about um, you're safe using them and using them with uh, rotary encoders but I want some decent grunt to go a lot further like I'd rather have threaded rods that it's probably like maybe two meters long this thing will probably be bouncing along <laughs> but um, at two meters but um, for this idea it's it's all right all I have to do is change the the limit switches to something a lot bigger but this this size will do for now um, yeah, so what I'll be using is an Arduino Uno that'll control um, a motor controller. This one here can control two DC motors. I don't know how it's going to cope with running 12 volts through it and then to the drills. And then the inputs from it will be uh, this here, which is just another tooth cog. And I'll be getting the encoders out of a mouse. So these little wheels that are here, they pass by um, this little infrared light that goes between the, these little cogs and counts how many. Um, it sort of just detects the movement based on how many times that beam is broken as that mouse shifts and I'd be pulling that out of there probably a little bit gently uh, okay and then um, basically placing it over a cog like that maybe this way actually then that would count the amount of revolutions that's that these shafts are moving um, yeah, so this this drill would control the x-axis, and that's that chain would then be connected up to this shaft, so they both rotate and send the um, this drill along that side, and then this drill would control the y-axis. You'd also put a rotary encoder right here, just to count how many revolutions that this is doing, and when it gets too far. It'll hit a limit switch and it'll also go back and hit that limit switch over there. So then it sort of it counts how many revolutions it's been doing. Well, on actually on this one over here, be counting how many revolutions it's doing until it clicks that switch. And then it counts how many revolutions it does until it clicks that switch. From there you divide up how many pixels um, how many rotations it would take for per pixel to have your paint spray the same example would happen with this when these these nuts here go um, travel up and down the y-axis and it would hit a limit switch for that side and a limit switch up here for that side um, yeah I was thinking maybe have some sort of output coming on this but I don't think it's going to be really necessary because I don't really want to use the Arduino um, and bog it down with all the code. I'm thinking actually just using a laptop and writing it all on that. But um, I can already sort of see some problems that are going to happen with it. Like um, as the drill rotates, these 
these rods are actually kind of bent so it's going to bounce the hell around and the spray from the spray uh, from the from the spray paint can is going to be kind of big so it probably it would actually probably look like a better image if the if the size or the resolution was a lot bigger maybe like two meters across and then a meter down but if you've got all that distance and a lot of weight of a drill going along that shaft would probably make it look kind of weird you could end up having the drill going like that up and down the shaft and getting jammed before it clicks the limit switches but yeah that's my printer idea I don't know if I'm going to still continue on with it just been collecting little bits and pieces for it yeah see if I continue on with it